Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an isosceles triangle given its base B and its height H, as we can see on the top of the screen. So the first step is we are going to draw a horizontal line at the bottom of the screen, as can be seen here. So next, setting our compass to the length of the given base B, we are going to transport this onto the horizontal line. First we'll set one point on the left side of the horizontal line, which will be our vertex A, and now we're going to transport the base, setting our compass on A, and scribing an arc to get our second vertex, which we will call C. So to continue, we are going to work out the perpendicular bisector of this given base AC. To do this, we will set our compass to a radius slightly longer than half the base. And setting our compass on A, we will scribe an arc above and below the line, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting our compass on vertex C, we will scribe another arc above and below the line until it intersects our previously drawn arc at two points. As shown here. And now we will join these two points with a line which is the perpendicular bisector of the base and we will elongate the line above as shown here. Okay, and we will call the midpoint zero. So the next step is setting our compass to the length of the given height h and setting our compass on the new point zero. And we'll scribe an arc above until it cuts our previously drawn perpendicular bisector. Where it cuts, this will be the third vertex of the isosceles triangle that we want to draw, which we will call B, vertex B. Okay, so the final step is to join vertex A to vertex B in a thicker line, as can be seen here. And to complete our isosceles triangle, we join vertex B to vertex C. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.